My name is Zhong Lin Wang, ZL Wang from Georgia Institute of Technology. I'm a registered professor at Georgia Tech. We use zinc oxide for our research for the last decade. And this material is very common. This material is environmental friendly, biological compatible. More importantly, it can be fabricated into nanomaterials at a large quantity at size control, location control, or retention control at low temperature. We use this material mainly for two purposes. The first purpose is to convert tiny physical motion, like the energy in our biological system, into electricity. This material has a property called piezoelectric property. That means for this crystal, if you apply a strain, they generate voltage inside. And this voltage can drive the electron to flow. Then you convert mechanical action energy into electricity. We utilize this one to convert energy, for, for example, from heart beating, finger motions, any kind of physical motion, tiny physical motion, we can utilize the energy you generate for power small electronics. We create a field called piezotronics. What is piezotronics? When this crystal is strained, it has a piezoelectric potential general inside. This potential general inside can serve as a gate voltage. The gate voltage, they can control how the electron flow through it. So if you apply a strain, this voltage control the amount of the electron you can transport. So therefore, we can build a transistor, use a strain or force or pressure control electronics. They call piezoelectronics. Today we make uh, the size by like a fingertip size, one centimeter square and 10 micron in thickness. We can generate continuous like a micron watt output, micron watt, 10 to the minus 6 watt output. And if you store the charge in the little capacitor, you can output at about 50 milliwatt. That's enough to drive a laser diode, drive a, a liquid crystal display. All this can be driven, conventional electronics can be driven by that little fingertip size. This is another new field that we created uh, two years ago called piezo phototronics. What is about use the piezo potential to control optoelectronic processes? How does it work? Let's give you a simple example. We have a, let's say, if you have a metal, we have a semiconductor, we form a, a, a junction interface. Normally, between metal and semiconductor, we have a barrier, they call Schottky barrier. They control a lot of devices. And if you have a laser shining at this barrier, you have electron hole pair generated. And this electron hole pair redistribute, change the profile of the short key barrier. That's what we call a photon excitation. The conductivity increases as a result of this. So say in a simple way, say if you have a laser shining here, if the photo energy is larger than the band gap of semiconductor, the barrier height reduces. That's the way. Reversely, let's say if this material has piezoelectric effect, let's apply a strain. We, we generate piece of potential here. They raise the barrier height. So laser lower the barrier height, piece of raise the barrier height. Two act in a different way. We can utilize this one to shut, to turn off the switch by piezoelectric. We use laser to open up. Or we use laser to open up, we use piezoelectric to shut off. You say, well, how does that affect our future device? Have a big impact on optoelectronics because Let's say you, f you fabricate a photo sensor, photo detector. How do you know the photo detector gives you the best performance? What do we do? We can artificially change the barrier height here. Because if this barrier height is too high, no electron hole can be separated. Mm, does not work. If it's too low, the electron hole pair is separate, but they can recombine. So what is the best height? The best height is that we can continuously raise the barrier height by piezoelectric effect until you get the very best photosensitivity. Utilize this one, we, we have fabric UV sensors at a very dim light that enhance the sensitivity by 300 times. Just one device, just apply strain. You produce piezo effect that raise the sensitivity 300 times. And recently, we utilize this one for fabricate solar cells. If you make a solar cell, how do you know the efficiency is the best? We use the same principle. We can enhance the photo, uh, s s the solar cell uh, efficiency substantially. 
So this is how does this piezoelectric effect affect the optical electronic field that we call piezo phototronics. This research covers from fundamental concept, fundamental physics, fundamental chemistry, to engineering fabrications, to electrical measurements, to even electronic packaging, and then finally do uh, the final measurements. So we cover from physics, chemistry, electrical engineering, optical engineering, to uh, measurements, even to packaging. So we, our students are very excited about this, the reason because they experience how a fundamental science, fundamental concept can really influence future product. For example, optoelectronics, photo detectors, solar cells, those are the huge areas. And students excited by fundamental understanding, but also in the future applications.